look up, you guys. It's fucking hailing. There's pieces of hail. Did you see it in my hand? I don't see them now. They're all melting. Shit. I'm trying to go back down. Because being on the top of the mountain isn't the safest place to be in a storm. came for a second, for a second, I was like, oh my god, I just told everyone how amazing and refreshing the rain is, and I was fucking hailing, run! <laughs> and I decided to, you know, so many people hike the Appalachian Trail every year, and they don't have a choice about the weather, because they're through hiking, so I can I? They gotta in front some crazy weather. So can I. Oop. So can you. And uh, here I am. And it's crazy. As you can see, the rain stopped, and the higher I get up to the top of Siler Bolt, Bolt, the most, more beautiful it gets. So, great views behind me, and uh, it's hard to tell in the video, I don't know if it's picking it up, but the sky's got blue sky, and white clouds, and gray clouds, and it's just perfect. This last bit when it juts off from the Appalachian to go up to the top of Siler Ball. It's a pretty decent incline. Uh, most of the rest of the trail so far has been a lot of up and down, but very gradual. There's been a few places where it's steep for a second, like some stairs or something similar, but for the most part, pretty gradual incline and decline. This part's all incline though. Woo. to the top. It's about 8.25 miles. 
from Rock Gap to Siler Bald. So a nice overnight hike if you're doing an out and back, which is what I'm doing. It was pretty woodsy, I'd say, most of the time. So I'm actually really surprised that there's a bald face mountain here because I was not really expecting that with all the woods I was going through and looking at the mountains in the distance, they were all covered in trees. So this was highly unexpected, which is a nice reward at the end because it was starting to get old when your back starts hurting. I'm like, okay, I've seen enough nature today, but then you get up here and it's gorgeous. So totally worth it. Great overnight hike. and. It's a Thursday and I'm surprisingly all alone. I've only seen one tent on this trail about a couple miles in from one of the road crossings. And aside from that, I haven't seen a single person and I got pick of the campsites on the top. Night night! If you've been enjoying my videos, please share with all of your friends and tell them to subscribe too. See you later.